it's Bunny and it's time for this week's edition of First Impression Fridays. And we got a major echo going on. Does that improve anything? Today I am uh, so excited to test this product out because it is a magical type of lipstick or lipstick enhancer. I'm not exactly sure what this product would technically be called because I've never heard of or seen anything else like it in the world. So today we are going to be testing out this new product from NYX, which is called Vamped Up. And it's actually called a lip top coat. Basically what this thing is supposed to do is magically transform any shade of lipstick into a more kind of vampy looking lipstick. You know what I mean? Like a darker color, a more rich color, um, some shade of burgundy, I don't know. This thing looks like a regular, I think that they're called Chunky Dunk, the other ones by NYX, that are these really thick lip crayons. So this is what it looks like, and the pencil is solid black, like so. Ew, I just like drew it on my nose a little bit. Nice. The product doesn't have any smell. I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch it by itself on the back of my hand, and how crazy is this? Just swatching it by itself, it just looks like a black lipstick. I thought it would be super duper fun if my camera would focus, if we would try four different colored lip shades, four vastly different colored lip shades, and see how this product transforms each shade. So the first one I thought we'd go with something really crazy. So I thought we would go with this green lipstick, which is ColourPop's lippy stick in the shade Bunny. I always feel like a little flattered that this product is called Bunny. I'm pretty sure it's not named after me though, because nobody told me. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Beautiful. The next shade that I wanted to try is this golden shade by Kat Von D, which is Gothica. And it's a very shimmery, coppery color. Sippy, sippy. I'm also going to use my most used red lipstick shade, which is Max Ruby Woo. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on part of the bottom of my mouth. And then the last shade that I wanted to go with is like a nude shade for me. And for that, I'm gonna be using one of my limited edition MAC lipsticks. And I forgot what collection this was from, but it was like the coolest packaging ever where the packaging looks like they have little droplets of water. It's actually like raised, you can feel it. So this is in Siren Song. Oh my God, I like smeared it part of the red. It looks like mayonnaise or something. It's real disgusting today. So just first of all, can we just take a moment to just observe this beautiful lip look that I've created? Somebody call Vogue. I'm feeling so avant-garde. So there we have it. Four very distinctly different lip colors. So now we're going to take this NYX Vamped Up and I'm just gonna go over each color and we're all gonna gasp and ooze and ahs, I'm sure, to see what kind of different colors it's gonna create. So I feel like this had a very dramatic effect, don't you? Yes. This dramatically changes whatever lip color you're gonna wear. I almost kind of think it did bring some universal continuity to all four shades on my lips. The one that I think it did best is the red. I feel like that made a really awesome looking vampy color. And the one that I like the least is probably what it did to like this nude shade because it almost made it look purpley and a little bit sick. It definitely just darkens up any lip 
shade, which I think is really cool and really valuable because, you know, if you don't want to purchase, like, you know, if you just want to do something like a little bit vampy, but it's not like your normal thing, you could really seemingly layer this over any lipstick shade and get a pretty cool temporary effect. What do you guys think about this? I kind of wish that they almost like did a different one for like everything, like something that would make things look like really electrified or neon if they did like a lip top coat for that. I feel like this product is pretty cool. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl. And I will just say there's lots of fraudulent pages out there on Facebook right now. So please just, if you, if you think you're following me on Facebook, just make sure it's the page that's just Graveyard Girl. Also, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at Graveyard Girl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!